So if you pick any book, uh, on that you will get the table of content, right? And that table of content says that that which topic is in which particular uh, page. So that you will get. Why we require this indexing? So the indexing will make our search easier, or it will make our our search uh, with less cost. I don't have to search the topic randomly into the book. Instead, I'll see the index. And from the index, I can get to know that this is the page number of my particular topic. So I'll go there. Right? Indexing will be useful for searching process. So if we'll relate it to our databases, is also work like that. So when we do any type of query, when we do any type of query, it will go to the, the query processor, it will go to the transaction manager and all those levels we have seen in the database system architecture in which the last level was the data. In that we have one component which is called index. So index, let's say we are talking about, we are uh, talking about uh, a query of the student table. So we should know that where a student table will get. So there is the, the memory location of the student table, right? So where you'll get it, you'll get with the help of index table. So there is an index table. In the index table, you will get the, let's say the student table and the related memory location of that particular student table, right? So the index table is, is for that. So let's go into the theory. It says that an index is a small table having two columns, right? So what are the column? What should be the column? So the column will be two only in the index. So in your table of content, what is the column? What is the, what are the column? We have two column only, right? We have the topic name and we have the page name, page number. So let's say the topic is A, page number is less than 20. Topic B, page number is less than 30. So this is my index. In the similar way, we have the index in the database management system, which is having only two columns. The first column contains the copy of the primary or the candidate key of the table. And the second column contains the set of pointer holding the address of the disk block where that particular key value will be found. So here key value will be maybe the, the table name, maybe the, the other, other name that we are making as for key value, right? The advantage of using index lies in the fact that the index makes search operation perform very fast, right? It is making it very fast. Suppose the table has a several row of data. Each row is of 20 by 5. If you want to search the record number 100, the management system must uh, thoroughly read each and every row. And every read, let's say it is taking 99 into 20, because 20 byte is the size. So it will be 90, 80 byte will find um, a record number 100. If we have an index, the management system is start uh, to search for record number 100, not from the table, but from the index. The index contain only two column, maybe just four by five in each of its row. After reading the 99 into four, 396 byte of data of index and the management system uh, finds an entry of the records 100 reads the address of the disk block where record number 100 is stored and directly points at the record in the physical storage device. The result is a much quicker access to the record, a speed advantage of, see you can see the speed is 396 byte and here we have 980 byte. It says that let's say you have a table called a student table and you are looking for the 100 record. 100 record, okay. 
so you know that the my data is in the 100 record right or my primary key is, is there let's say roll number 100 we are talking about so for searching the roll number 100 we have to search means all the detail instead if we have the index of this this particular student table so we have the roll number and we have the address of it so there is a hundred but the address will be let's say 2020 is my address so here we have to search let's say four byte and here for each double we have to search 20 byte so it says that to search from from uh, zero location to 99 sorry one to 99 or here one to 99 the searching time will be reduced that is the advantage of index the only minor disadvantage of using index is to take up a little more space in the main than the main table so we have the strand table why we require another table so another table is your index table and this index table belongs to the strand class sorry strand table so this storage is required to add into the database this is the minor disadvantage that we have but to get the data it will be very fast additionally index need to be updated periodically by inserting and deleting of record in the main data however the disadvantages are so huge uh, sorry advantages are so huge these disadvantages cannot can be negligible <clears throat> There is uh, the index called ordered index. So what is ordered index? The index entry are stored in the shorted form on the search key, that is the value, uh, author catalog in the library, like that. The primary index uh, in a sequential order file. The index whose search key specify the sequential order of the file is also called clustered index. The search key of the primary index is used, uh, but not necessarily the primary key. There is the secondary index and index, those search keys specify an order different from the sequential order of the file, also called the non-cluster index. Then there is a index sequence file, ordered sequence file with the primary index. So that category is like this. So the index may be categorized into primary index, clustered index, and secondary index. So primary index, we have two type of index called dense index and the sparse index, means primary key. So primary key is, has been used here, which is a dense index and a sparse index. Then index may be the clustered index or index may be the secondary index. So let's see different type of indexes so that you will understand. This is the example of primary index. Primary index is of two type, right? Dense and the sparse. This is showing you the example of the dense. Means, let's say we have the student table, and this is the index of the student table. This index is called primary index. Why primary index? Because this index is made with the primary key. That's why it is called primary index. And it is a dense. Dense means this is a mapping is one to one mapping. As you can see, Rule number one, the pointer is pointing to the location of the rule number one. Rule number two is a pointing point, pointer pointing to the location of the rule number two. Now, what is a sparse index? The sparse index is like this. We have the strand table, but a strand table is divided into some chunk of 10, 10 records. And if we have the index like this, this is called a sparse index. And it is a category of primary index, but it is a sparse index. Why? Because we doesn't have the one to one mapping here. We have the one to many mapping means this, this particular pointer, this particular pointer is pointing to 10 records. This particular pointer is pointing to 10 records. It means that here the searching will be, will be less, but here we have to search. Let's say I want to search the 23rd record. So instead of going to 23rd, I'll go to 20, 21. 21 will take me to the 21 record. And from the 21, I'll go to the 23rd record. In that way, it will work. It is called sparse or non-dense primary index. Now, what is a clustering index? Here you can see there is a cluster that we have made. Like in, in, some, uh, in some table, 
we are not taking the primary key instead we are taking the c department wise we are clustering it or you can say the the branch wise we are clustering it so let's say we have the department number 1 2 3 4 5 so we have five department let's say there is uh, cse there is uh, there is uh, uh, etc hmm? there is triple uh, e there is it there is ce right these are the department now i am looking for the student of department from csc so i'll go to one and i'll go to here this is the record of the csc student getting it so this is how it will work it is a cluster way we have created the cluster then the secondary index we have one primary index this is a example of the primary index and then we have the secondary index here you can see this this is a sparse and this is the dense so it is a example of sparse and the dense this indexing is we have taken in the ram and this indexing you can find in the hard drive and the data is also you can find in the hard drive so let's say if we are looking for roll number 19 so we'll go to the roll number 1 and from the 1 we'll go to the roll number c this is 11 and from the 11 i can go to the roll number 19 this is how i can search the table secondary index okay so these are different type of indexing available